This next story you're reading is from N.K. Jemison, and N.K. Jemison is an author that is still writing and publishing and teaching and talking about these things today. Um, this story was written in 2014, but she is, continues to be probably one of the biggest names in science fiction and just fiction as a whole. Um, she's also very celebrated and I mean, very awarded, very highly regarded in the writing community. She does a master class. She also does workshops on world building and, and things like that. So she is very much um, sort of at the, the as as prolific as it gets today. Um, she has won awards for her Broken Earth trilogy. Um, she was the first person to win those awards for three years in a row for three three books in a trilogy. I mean, she's just um, a, a very, very prolific writer and, and will definitely be one that's anthologized for, you know, the next century. Um, now, this story, The Valedictorian, deals with this idea of a dystopian future, deals with artificial intelligence, um, and it deals with um, the concept of intelligence in general. N.K. Jemison um, is well known for her craft. And she, in her workshops on world building, describes this very similar to Hemingway's iceberg theory, meaning you only get the tip of the iceberg and everything else is beneath the surface. So in her world building philosophy, we only really get the tip of the iceberg and everything else um, is left unstated. So as you're reading, you'll want to be thinking about what is the rest of that iceberg in this story and what else, what else is there to this world? that is implied but not told. Um, you will also, you might find it helpful to know that N.K. Jemison also writes about, you know, social and political issues. She writes um, about these things in a very dystopian science fiction way, as many writers do, um, but she has an interesting philosophy on it. In interviews, N.K. Jemison once said, you know, dystopia is tricky because you know, one person's dystopia is another person's Tuesday. So really at the at the heart of it, she kind of questions what a dystopia even really is. Um, and that's something that you'll see in this story. Some people would see the human society here as a dystopia, and some people would see it as a utopia for other reasons. Um, and vice versa, some people would see technology here as, as this, this um, utopian future or a dystopian future. And the, the way that we do that math is something to be thinking about as you're reading through the valedictorian.